Um, hello everybody, so this is my 2019 City Sleeker and the very first thing that I want to tell you is this voltage on this battery can really hurt you. Do not try to tamper into the motor controller or any other feature on this motorcycle if you are not qualified for it. 72 volts DC will really harm you or anybody around you. So please do not do this unless you are a professional and you are qualified. So uh, the project that I'm working on, I'm going to get this motorcycle to 60 miles an hour, which it should not be a problem because the motor that comes with it from stock, it's rated at 3.2 uh, kilowatts for 10 seconds, that's peak. And with the 12 inch uh, ratio from the tire, you should be able to get the motorcycle up to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. The only problem with this though, is that the controller is governing the speed at 45, 46, give or take miles an hour. So the first thing that I wanna tell you is, uh, this motorcycle really doesn't stop surprising me because uh, for the price range of this, this thing, I learned that the, it has CAN communication. This is the CAN communication we use in the automotive industry for communicating from module to module. Uh, but this affordable bike, I wouldn't say cheap bike, but this affordable bike communicates, uh, it has one CAN bus and it talks to, uh, it communicates from the display to the BMS inside the battery pack and finally in the motor controller. So that's the network right there. It's just one CAN bus line. So the reason why I need to do this is because I need to get the messages from my park and my reverse since there's no digital uh, outputs driving those signals because the, there's two options that I have in mind in order to get the motorcycle to 60 miles an hour. Number one is learning the parameters that this motorcycle spits out. Um, with the use of another software, I can probably override just the parameter that is limiting the, the, the torque or um, therefore the speed. Or second option is to install a Kali controller, which by the way is in the mail. I should, be, I should get it by the end of the week. And that motor controller, I can program it the way that I want it and get it to the speed that this motorcycle actually can get to. So with that being said, I already connect, I already hooked up to the CAN bus line. Uh, here's my, my CAN viewer. Uh, I'm gonna set it up to, my bot rate is five, uh, 500K. And once, I, uh, once we get the messages that I already found, I'm gonna use those messages. If it doesn't work with the existing controller, I'm gonna use an Arduino with a CAN shield and get those messages signals as inputs in order to drive outputs. So why I want to do this is because if you start disconnecting things, uh, the malfunction indicator is gonna show like I have it right now in this example. So once I have the motorcycle on, now I can talk to the motorcycle. And we click OK and bingo. That's the communication data from, from the motorcycle. The first message that I had to find and to decode, it is the zero alpha zero, which the data from that, it's the most important uh, I can ID, ID message that we need in order to decode that. So you can see right now it's in 17. 17 means the motorcycle is in park. As soon as we push the button to disable park or basically neutral, there's no park in this motorcycle, it's more like neutral. So we push the button, we push it, and that transitions to number two. Number two means you are in power mode. Eco mode, data is number one. Power, eco. And finally, the reverse, which is number three. There's another ID message that um, we, um, I also found, but it is not that critical right now. It, it's only like an um, high and low to indicate that the throttle is open. So, um, but it's there. Uh, and one thing that I also want to mention, so you don't need to do this as a CAN message because it's a digital input. 
I'm sorry, it's a, it's an output, digital output, zero to five. Five, I believe, is eco, and low is um, uh, power, in case you need to do that without canned messages. But I can help you um, do all these upgrades once I move forward with um, with this project. So, um, so, well, this is it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys, and hopefully you can stay tuned for my video part two, where, where I'm showing if I can actually get the motorcycle to 60 miles an hour. Thank you.